but actually your method of composition is rather different from other people because it seems to me that although your pieces are very carefully composed, mm -hmm. you still leave them a lot of freedom even in the playing of the, I'm not talking about the ad lib solos, in the, in the, in the when the they play the part of the composition, yeah. there is a lot of freedom more than in many groups, wouldn't you say? Yeah, there is. Yeah, you, you have a question. See, it's not a question. You have to even listen. What I do is, I, I know it's kind of saying. I guess I'm not selfish. I know if I got a thing, like, I, like if I say to book it like this. Well, I know that he can do this. As long yes. as he starts where I start and in where I end. He makes a ba ba lu ba. He make yes. he make many different yes. movements. And they do. Yeah, and I think this and is better. And when we do two takes on one tune, yeah. actually, even the composed parts can mm -hmm. be quite different, different from He's one saying, take to the yeah. other, which shows that even within the composition, they exchange it. He has the right to. That this I think is good though, healthy. I got this idea. I think it's great, but I think you're the only man who's yeah, doing that. It could be. Could be, I don't, know. I don't know. I think Jerry O'Martin Martin did it though. Jerry O'Martin Martin did that too. I think, see, see now, I, now I'm telling you, man, I didn't know this. Martin, Martin Williams drugged me. Because there's a thing going out now where guys take one card uh, and they play on it. Mm -hmm. That's something else Jerry O'Martin Martin did. Well, see, I was very interested in this when I first thought I discovered it. And Martin says, well, Jerry Roll Martin did that. And uh, here's some music he showed me he did it. And I dropped the whole thing. And now this trend, Miles Davis is making all kinds of money on it. Yes. You know what I'm yes. talking about? The, yes. the kind of type of thing. I did it with on with one tune on it with you. That uh, love chant. Love chant, yes. But I, I noticed something else. I mean, and I'm not, it's not like I'm saying I should make money. I don't mean that. No, Everybody no. should make money, but I don't think... You know, Helen Merrill, she yes. said it in good words to me. She says, I don't think I'm supposed to appeal to the masses. Yes. Or me as a people. Like, I think that what I have is for special people. I like that. You know, I don't, maybe a little more than she got. I don't know. You know yes. But, yeah. I don't think I, I don't know if it's supposed to appeal to millions. And if it does, that ain't wrong either. Jesus Christ appeals to millions, don't he? That's right. He's a pretty bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Both but, ways. But I noticed something else. Somehow, there is a, a strong unity to your groups, mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem to matter too much who is playing with you. When people play with you, they play differently than they play when they're on their own. I, I tell you what. I've noticed, to ask that question, I go back to Lionel Hampton again. I've seen Lionel Hampton, which I'm sure, mass hypnosis, uh, by him throwing himself completely in, and accepting the full spirit of the composition, he's made people jump out of the bleachers and break their legs. Yes. Now, you know this is fact. I so. Now, anybody who worked with him, they learn two things. You learn, mm -hmm, you learn what that is, yeah. and you learn like Jacket and all the guys yes. that they go complete overboard with this thing, that showman thing, I guess they call it showman. Lionel don't call it showman, he is putting his complete heart in it. That's right. There's a difference in saying then watching yourself affect people That's than throwing right. yourself in it. Well, I try to see the Ham's reason, and when I go out to the mouth to live my soul, I have to wait a month sometime to get to blaming his fingers. When I get out there, I say, all right, Ham, here it is. And I put my whole heart in it, and I find out that the whole people, everybody feels it. And so playing with the band, and only certain people affects. I haven't got to one guy, I call his name again, John Handy. I can never get to John. It's uh -huh. because he's isolated in another world that's just as strong. Yes. Because John is always conscious that he wants to be a leader. I mean, yes. I mean, I mean, I mean usually, you would call John Doe, yes. if you want to use this as yes. an example. Yes. But people like Booker and people who are happy and content and can throw themselves in the plane yeah, well, would I have to go with my mind. many examples, yeah. for instance, mm -hmm. and some of them, they're great musicians when they play with you, and they're great musicians when they play on their own, mm -hmm. but it's not Two different the same. Things. You know, it shouldn't be. This is what it shouldn't when, be, When man. they play with you... And when I play with them, I should play different. Yeah. This is what I learned, man. I played half, I didn't play my music. I played half music. You have me say what I want to say. That's, that's, that's what's, this is what is probably wrong why I can't play with anybody, because, I mean, as a side man, I would like to, you know, I used to try and say, well, I don't want to be a band leader. Be like George DeVivier, just make me a few dates and make me some record dates and, and make it. But I find that by the time other guys lose their identity, the record date is, is over with, and it's too late to save the music, because they're trying to hold on to what they believe rather than say, what does this composer mean, and give themselves up for, the, for, the, you know, for the, whoever yes. the leader is. But they somehow seem to fall. I've seen musicians who've been with you for a very short time, yeah. and they're playing your music and not their music when they play with yeah. you somehow. 
I mean, it's part of them too. Yeah, you're right, man. It fits into your music. I got two, I got two like, cats I couldn't change too well. Remember Charlie uh, and Lonnie? Yes. The bebop kids from Detroit? Yes. I finally got them even. I started making them, putting scale, two different keys on them to make them get out of that bebop uh, yes. line. Because, see, I wasn't combating them. I was tr trying to fight Charlie Parker, and he's dead. Yes. If you got a guy that's completely brainwashed by somebody like that, you can't change them, what they're doing, because Bird's not here to show him what he would do with, with my music. That's right. You know? In fact, Bird would have played my music different. That's right. I know he would have, man. That's right. That would been something else. For instance, Jackie McLean with you mm -hmm. was playing your music. Another thing. Now he's back to what he was doing before. Yeah. But yeah. when it was with you, he was, he's yeah. great now, he was great, but it was some, he was playing a different kind of music. Uh, and something else, man, you notice when I was back with Willie Jones and those drummers like that, if you notice always trying to have Jimmy Nippin and Danny there, without them it wouldn't happen. I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> pretty sure that. Jimmy for the, the lines and the way I phrase things, yeah. and he also knows he'll show a cat wrong. Almost, you know, like I said, and he'll play it the way I used to play it, and you hear these two melodies going. Because yeah. he knows that I don't want it the exact same way every time. Yes. Yes. See this, the, the, so he'll change yeah, it on his yeah, own. Yeah, he was give Booker a little different line, and Booker said, "Well, you got a B flat." He said, "I know, I'm, you know." Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah, but Danny, is, see, when I'm, I'm getting a little older, although I, I don't think it's really anymore. I felt like I was getting tired. That's another reason I kind of laid off bass. I just, I, man, you know, I used to have monks got the most perfect time in the world. I used to have that kind of time, man. I know it. When it never get lost, you know, but. Taking so many drummers like I did before I got Danny, yes. and even teaching him was hard, man. Yes. Although he was very talented, if you remember, I got I think yeah, you called yeah. him right away. In the very beginning. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And technically, he wasn't very strong in those days. No. Like, you no. know, you know, he was just yeah. begun to play drums. Yeah. You know, I, and, yeah, and yeah. yet he was doing it. Yeah. I mean, even then, you could tell. It was in his head, man. It was in his. Head. See, I showed him a way that all musicians should learn. Uh, he was trying to do things that you you like, Max. That's good. I said now. Max makes, you know, okay, now you're going to make this like that. I said, suppose your stick slips. Well, you're supposed to listen to that and make something out of that, too. So this cat, we're going to learn. I said, the whole idea is to keep the time in your mind. And if you make a mistake, remember that mistake, and next time make it part of the music. You know, and yes. keep that time going, you know. Yes, yes. Now, I hear that in this plan now. He's got Max, and he's got the mistakes. He's got everything else that goes on now. But he's making Very well. It's incredible now. Yeah, man. He's been with you about five years. Right? Yeah, at least. Seriously. Yeah. Five? To yeah, six. six. Going six. I was checking on the CD because Celia and uh, my wife, you know, it's eight, yes. nine years ago we got married. And yeah, he came uh, three years. She's been gone three years. And he was yeah, six years. I saw a cat say the, the rhythm section, one of the reviews on what record was, the all time rhythm section. I think. If he listened, he's or just didn't write that and didn't listen. But there's something to that. We've very, very, it's three things going on always, and it's two men playing. Which of them section? When I mean, we and Danny playing, it's you like playing three men. Yes, yes. Because we have that one, this going. It's obvious. We have another one going. Cha 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 ca 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 against it. You know, and you yes, got that. Yes. And you feel like it's three things, three people. You know, that's why sometimes you don't miss the piano up there, isn't it? Yes. Although I'm missing for the sound. Yes. I, I didn't expect this kind of view. I didn't know this is more natural than I thought. 